Okay, YouTube. Tonight, another study in this Deuteronomy 25 passage about revere marriage, that is, marriage of a surviving brother to his deceased brother's wife in order that the deceased brother may have a child born in his name. And the passage naturally divides into three parts. The uh, first brother dies. That creates an obligation on the part of surviving brother to marry the widow. If he accepts this obligation, well and good. If he does not accept this obligation, he's not exactly forced to do it, but he must undergo this interesting public ritual involving the widow and the elders of the city at the gate, which uh, these elders are judges of the location, the elders of his city. And that last part, this public ritual in case of refusal, is what I wish to explain a bit in this study video. You recall that about verse 9 or so, um, if he stand, that is, if he sticks to it and say, I like not to take her, then shall his brother's wife come unto him in the presence of the elders and loose his shoe from off his foot and spit in his face, and she shall answer and say, So shall it be done unto the man that doth not build up his brother's house. And his name shall be called in Israel the house of him that hath his shoe loosed. Now, I interpret that this public unshoeing of the brother who refuses is figuratively a, quite a shameful thing because figuratively it's like stripping him, him naked. Not literally, of course. It would be unfitting for a woman to do this. Now, why I say this? It's because in the Hebrew idiom, foot is often in Hebrew idiom a metaphor for the private parts for nakedness. And in the remaining time, I'll show you a few passages to this effect. Um, in First Samuel chapter 24 now, there was an occasion where the narrative says that Saul had to go privately relieve itself, re relieve himself. First Samuel 24, 3. Look what it says. Um, in verse 3, And Saul went in to cover his feet. What it means is, of course, that Saul uncovered himself enough to relieve himself, but that's the Hebrew idiom. You see it involves feet. And then here in Isaiah 720, with which we'll pretty much conclude, in that day, the Lord will the Lord have hire with or no. In that day will the Lord shave with a razor that is hired in the parts beyond the river, even with the king of Assyria, the head, and the hair of the feet, and it shall also consume the beard. Now, the uh, reference hair of the feet is a euphemism for the hair that 
grows on or near the private parts. So, do you see, and there are other passages I could mention as well, do you see that there is this Hebrew idiom associating feet with private parts and nakedness, so symbolically that's what it's doing, a very shameful uh, in Deuteronomy 25, that is a very shameful ordeal that the brother who refuses must publicly undergo as if uh, stripping him naked publicly, although not literally. Till next time, then.